We are coming to you from Barclay West here in the Northern Cape where the Dikatlong Independent Forum will be contesting six of the wards in the up six of the eight wards in the upcoming local government elections. And um, we know that in this municipality, in the 2016 municipal elections, the ANC um, won with a 67%, the DA with 18 and also then the EFF um, with 12%. If I can just give you a, a background on, on this area where we are, about 15,000 households uh, in this area with 21.6% living in informal dwellings and we are in an area where people are actually staying in informal dwellings. 10.9% um, without electricity, 3.3% no access to toilets and then also 26.5% of residents are unemployed in this area and that number can be higher because these are only the figures of the 20, of 2016. But I am now joined by Mentli Bezaydenot, and he is the, the, the leader of the Dikhaklong Independent Forum. A very good morning to you, Mentli. And, and first of all, I need to start off by asking you, you, you stood previously as an independent candidate and currently you are ward councillor in this area. Why did you decide to, to, to to begin this um, independent forum and, and, and move from independence to this forum? Okay, basically, Res, moving from independent to independ uh, independent forum is basically that uh, what we have established at Lijas around, uh, around the Khatlong uh, area is that uh, we saw the suffering of our people. And to contest in these local elections, you are you are contesting for PR seats, which is also a councillor seat inside. So uh, uh, contesting as an independent will lose out on that seat of the PR. So what we are saying as the Hatlong Independent Forum is to give you back the power to the people, whereby there is no leaders where we will get mandate from them. The, leader, the mandate comes directly from the communities, as the communities are now the leaders of, of this forum. So if a councillor does not deliver, on basis what the uh, community is expecting from me. The community have the right to remove that councillor in order to get the basic services. Remember, the Khatlong Independent Forum is fighting for the constitutional right of our people because section 20, 26 and 27 is outlining the rights of our people and section 152 of the constitution outlines the objectives of local government, which is the responsibility of our municipality to deliver basic services stipulated in the constitution. So what the Khatlong Independent Forum is going to do is basically fighting for the constitutional right of our people because it's clearly under the Bill of Rights. You are mentioning the fact uh, power back to the people. We see a lot of small parties also uh, who also registered for the upcoming local government elections and as well as independent candidates. Are you not afraid of those small parties that will make uh, inroads and hamper uh, the, the stance of you trying to deliver these critical services to the community. Basically what is happening, uh, in the democracy everyone has the right to contest and it is upon the voter to decide who they have confidence in to vote for. So whether which party is going to contest, it will be merely on the voter to decide who they have confidence in and who must govern them at the end of the day. And then also, if we can come to the critical issue of basic services delivery, and it is enshrined in our constitution that people have the right to basic services, but in this area where we are, we see a lot of informal dwellings, and also I mentioned it earlier on that um, people are still sitting without electricity, no a proper sanitation. Um, what are you going to do as the Dikhaklong Independent Forum to make sure these people get those basic services? Okay, basically I can stay in other informal settlements is more than 20 years, whereby there is no services. But the most important thing is, <coughs> on your IDP, which is your Integrated Development Plan, it must form part as a key priorities as informal settlement. Because in Dikhaklong, in each and every ward, there is informal settlement. As Dikhaklong Independent Forum, we are saying, 
we must bring the services to our people, which means we must have um, technical managers who are qualified to draw our business plans, which will bring now the services to our people. Because based on your, 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 your successful business plan, you can submit and then you can be, be um, availed funds in terms of bringing back these services. As you can see, people are living without electricity. Sanitation, I mean a woman at night, what must she do when she has a need? It is, and, and the safety is also at risk here. So at the end of the day, as the Hatlum Independent Forum, we are not promising, we are saying there is the, the constitutional right for the municipality to deliver these basic services enshrined in the constitution under the Bill of Rights. Thank you very much. Well, that was um, the Dikhatlong Independent Forum leader, Mentli Bezaydenaut, outlining what they are going to do as a forum should they be in power. They are going to contest six uh, wards here in the Dikhatlong area out of those eight in the upcoming local government elections. Also saying that they are going to make sure that people are being taken out of these squalid living conditions they are finding themselves in proper sanitation, water, all the basic needs, and as well as job employ um, um, unemployment also remain a critical issue for them. But with the upcoming local government elections being on the 1st of November, we also saw a number of independent candidates as well as smaller parties registering with the Independent Electoral Commission and that should then send out a clear message to the bigger parties. But with that said, it's back to you in studio.